So what exactly is a real day in the life of an SHL goalie really like, especially during the playoffs? Well, I play hockey in Sweden, but I don't play in the SHL. Today, I'm lucky enough that I get to document Tim Jewell, starting goalie for Oscar Sham in the SHL. Tim is in his first season in the SHL, and today I'm going to the team's morning skate for game one of their playoff series against Rogla, and then in attendance live for game two at home in Oscar Sham. So today's Thursday. Today is gonna be the first game for Oscar Sham playing in the playoffs this year in the SHL. They're playing Rogla tonight, but this is the first year they're in the playoffs, and their goalie, Tim Jewell, literally grind his way from division one all the way up to the SHL. He's in his first season. He's stolen the starting job. Stuff like this, watching like the morning skates, watching the goalies in their natural habitat, what they do, all their habits. This is like my Disneyland. This is like the stuff that I live for. So first one of the day is the uh, legendary Swedish goalie coach, Michael Sandberg. So Tim is in his first season in the SHL, and today I'm going to be part of the team's morning skate. Now I'm not going on the ice, I'm just going to observe their morning skate before game one tonight of the playoffs against Rogla, and then I'm going to be in attendance live for game two at home in Oscar Sham, a day in the life of an SHL goalie during the playoffs, Tim Jewell, Let's begin. So first off, who is Tim Jewell? Well, Tim is 27. He's a 94 born Swedish goaltender. And his story is that he spent five years playing Division One in Osterland. I was just talking to Tim. I got my information wrong. He played not five years of Division One. He played eight years. Slugged out eight years, kept going, got his opportunity, went up. So thank you very much, Tim, for the fact check. Back to the video. Two years in Karlskoga in Hockey El Svenskin, and now he's with Oscar Sham this year in the SHL. Now, for sake of ease, I only follow Tim around in this video for the on ice action, but he's been nice enough to break down his entire game day routine for me so he can remain focused on the actual game tonight. So, for a general game day for Tim, typically wakes up around 7 a.m., crushes breakfast at 7 30, loves his oatmeal, a little bit of salt, puts that hair on your chest, chia seeds, cocoa, grated coconut, blueberries, a little bit of milk. He also has a banana and some vitamins. The banana is not in the oatmeal. He also does not have a coffee first in the morning when he wakes up, which may quite possibly be the most unsweetish thing about Tim, but he typically waits about three to four hours in the day before doing so. And after that, he walks down to the rink for about 8.30, gets warmed up, and then hops on the ice for around 10.15 a.m. for the morning skate, which begins at 10.30. And this is where we start the video. One thing you'll notice with a lot of pro goalies, and goalie coaches specifically, is that Things are simple, and I mean it literally does not get any simpler than the goalie coach putting some half clappers, the blocker and glove of his goalies to warm up the hands and the eyes. Over the course of a long season, whether you're in the SHL or in my neck of the woods, it's about maintaining the body. Nothing crazy, nothing game changing, we're not reinventing the wheel, we're just doing the simple things well. With Tim, you'll notice that he very rarely actually closes his gloves when he goes to catch pucks. The Swedish theory, at least to my knowledge, is that if you can catch a puck when the glove is opened, you can absolutely catch it when the glove is closed. I personally found this super helpful when my glove broke this season and it wouldn't close properly, so I fixed it with this exact programming. Catch the puck without closing the glove, cradle it, and it actually gets you a lot better at catching pucks. Now, just to be clear, these are not the exact words out of Tim's mouth. This is just my interpretation and my breakdown of what I'm seeing and what I have found. And last but not least, Tim loves to have fun. Take a look. Tim is one of my favorite goalies in the entire SHL, and another one of the reasons why I came in the morning skate today, these bad boys, Traspect Pro Laces. We got like five, four or five goalies in the SHL using this year. Kali playing on a full 10 basis, Chris Reefall from Rogla, he's testing them, Casca Sewell got a set, uh, Hildeby and Faria Stads got a set, and now Tim. I, it wasn't enough time to get him a custom set because I'm going home in a couple days, but I'm excited to give Tim a set and try him out over something, hopefully he loves him. After the morning skate, Tim stays loose, he has a snack, a little ice bath, takes about a 30 to 40 minute nap, 
on his spike mat with a pillow, which is this thing right here. Now, they do not recommend sleeping on these things, like, at all, but Tim says he finds it relaxing, so hey, whatever works for you. Fast forward later that night, Ostersham takes a 1-0 series lead with a huge win, and they're bringing it back home for Saturday for Game 2 against Rogla. Now, I drove about four hours to this game here with my buddy Wes, this guy right here, but it was absolutely worth it because this atmosphere in Ostersham is electric. But a goalie like Tim, you have to think that this guy is absolutely feeding off the energy, the electric crowd. It's a smaller arena. It's not completely up to date because they just advanced into the SHL a few years ago. They're in the works of building a new arena. But this crowd and this fan base is nuts. This is when Tim takes to the ice for the pregame warmups. Take a look. watched anything I've ever posted on the internet, you know I'm an absolute goaltending nerd. And with that in mind, the other goalies for today, my buddy Kali Klang, goalie for Rogla, and backing up today for the Rogla starter, Christopher Refalk. Now, now, Chris has got to be by far the best puck handler in the entire league. Very active, very effective, very crisp, but this video is not about Chris. But backing up for Oscar Sham here is Thomas Rydin, who played Division 1 last year, moved up to Hockey Elsvenskan this season, and is currently on call-up to Oscar Sham for the playoffs, as you can tell by the Kelly Green Pads, Glove Blocker, Helmet, you name it. And finally, the guy that we are focused on today, Tim Jewell. Take a look. The game was 1-1. Oscar Sham ties it up, and the Rogel fans, they're kind of crazy. We're trying to stay quiet because we're sitting beside the rope with GM and I think he might like choke slam me if we cheer so we're just trying to be very respectful. And it got even crazier after this play. Nobody even knew that the puck went in. And they played for a while before the whistle even went, before they even knew what was going on. Chris, the Rogla GM, as a matter of fact, I was sitting beside during this game, had a live stream of the game going on on his phone the entire game, and made this call to challenge. I got that on film, yeah. And we had a good goal. Now, throughout the rest of the game, Tim absolutely kept Oscar Sham in the game. I'll be honest, they were really outplayed. They really didn't muster up any opportunities for the rest of the game. But Oscar Sham got a penalty shot with a few minutes left to tie it. And this happened. And that was all she wrote. Chris Refalk, as he always does, makes a couple big saves late, shuts the door, and any opportunities Oscar Sham did get to sustain any pressure, Chris and his world-class puck handling negated any in-zone opportunities. And that was it. Rogler won 3-2, tying the series up with one. So that's basically it. A day in the life of an SHL goalie in the playoffs with Oscar Sham's Tim Jewell. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this video and also help me make this video as well, Tim. Give him some love on Instagram. This dude needs more than 900 followers. Come on, this guy is a world-class goaltender. Let's get Tim to 100K. Come on. First ever SHL playoff game. That was exciting. 3-2 final. Folks at Oscar Sham, drinks were on the house, food was on the house, great seats. I sat beside, well, we sat beside the GM for Rogla, who I've met like three months ago. And I love Tim Jewell. And like every every 30 seconds throughout the game, I kept yelling, come on, Tim, come on, Tim. And I could feel like Chris wanted to like choke slam me every time I said that. But he was very nice. Thank you very much to the folks at uh, Oscar Sham for allowing us into the game. It was awesome. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button for more awesome SHL goalies and Swedish hockey content from me. And although it's only a demo set for Tim to try out over the summer, if you want to pick up the same Traspect Pro Aces that Tim now has, along with countless other SHL goalies, there's a link down in the description and the code TRAVSUCKS. You use that code to check out. It's going to get you five bucks off your order. 
They're the only tow ties on the planet. They come with a money back guarantee. We ship worldwide. If you got the same Bauer tow ties, your CCM tow ties keep ripping. They never last. Trust me, these will be game changing. These are the tow ties for you. I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.